Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on the channel Savo Much. This is Alexander Sudorov, as always, and we're again on the construction site where the Design and Technological Bureau Savile Marsh is being constructed in full swing. Which work is being performed today? Today it is Friday, the first half of the day. And now work with the ramp rope continues in full swing. What has been done? Pouring of concrete. Its formwork has already been installed and then deinstalled. The contour has been formed. Then partial backfill with sand was performed. Sand was compacted. It will be compacted layer by layer, up to the top with a special viper plate. So soon the plate of concrete, which will be poured on top, will be very reliable and will perform all the functions necessary. There is a lot of parallel work today, so let's get to another location. Let's continue. We have just turned the corner. What can we see here? First of all, there is no temporary road. And it is necessary to start work with external utility lines in this part of the building. What is happening now? On that side, you see four blue figures or silhouettes. They are transformers. We need to place these transformers inside the building to provide electricity. Transformers will be removed and then, thanks to... Let's move on. I will show you the builder's efforts and thanks to certain equipment they will be installed in this part of the building. The design already foresees for technological apertures, doors, special skids are already installed there and through this temporary platform these transformers will be installed inside the building. Then it will look somewhat different and access to transformers will be much easier and much simpler. And passing by we cannot not notice how at this very moment Something is happening inside the building and it is obviously in link with pouring of concrete. The final part of the floor. That's great. There is the gate already. There is concrete. What else do we need? Now we are coming up to our armed vehicle. BTR-80, a hybrid. What can we see? We see a lot of metallic structures which are reinforced. It is the future platform to install thermal technical equipment, that is, a climate system. We see technical which has already been prepared, hydro isolation to provide for absence of humidity. We see anchor structures which will do a titanic job and which will hold all these structures, all these reinforced structures, which will form the future plate. And now we can watch the guys working. When the pile foundation was being created, pipes were installed made of asbestos and concrete. Reinforced structures were put inside them. Some of them have been poured. The site was flattened. And now we see that the preparation process is nearing its logical end. And very soon, we will start mounting all the structures that we saw. Meanwhile, it is becoming very noisy. As noisy as it can be, it means that the concrete pump is in operation. Do you remember? Parallel work. Let's go have a look. Well, it's a bit quieter here. It's just the truck motor which is in operation. One mixer is being unloaded. The concrete pump, thanks to a pipe system, supplies the concrete that we need to the necessary spot. Another mixer is waiting. And now they will show you some bird's views. And we see that there is another mixer on the premises. And yet another one is coming. 
we can say that today all Zelenograd concrete units work for Savalpash in all senses. This is how it is. We have now entered the pilot production part of the building, it is very calm here, however it's not that calm. Reinforcement of the structure is being performed now. Reinforcement grades are being laid. Then it will be lifted, this snake-like structures will be put, some more grid, all of that will be reinforced and ready for pouring of concrete. I think that you know how quickly the guys are managing to do that, you know it from our previous videos. Let's have a closer look. Today a big fragment of concrete is being poured. I want to remind you that after the end of pouring, such helicopters will fly around all these premises to turn the floor from ordinary concrete to this mirror. Well, it needs to be wiped and cleaned, but believe me, things are very good here. Let's have a look at what is going on here. All the mixers are now unloading concrete in this area. Cameraman, please stay alive, we all need you. They distribute this layer of concrete, which is quite big. Look at the thickness of the layer, even here. You can see how much concrete will be poured today in cubic meters. You can just imagine that. The fragment is quite voluminous. And I think that today the builders will manage to do all of the work. They will do some more in the evening as well. So, there are many people involved who work in different areas, both outside and inside the building with external utility lines and we are getting prepared for internal utility lines. Why? Some of the foundation for transformers, it is ready. It is ready for those transformers. The others are being prepared today and it can also be called work with internal utility lines. Huge work is being performed on Friday evening. Some people start having holidays, weekends, but we have new scope of work and we will work incessantly. So, dear colleagues, the speed, the rate of work only depends on the money that is raised. As of today, construction can consume 80 volume of financing. We can work in parallel, in different areas, in order to speed up the tasks that were set. Follow our social networks. Be in the know of all the recent news and events, subscribe, click on the bell, do everything necessary in social networks to increase activity. Thank you for your attention. See you later.